Hey everybody, I'm David with Bolivar Live, and today we're going to talk about the villas at Bolivar. Uh, a great new development down here. I've got Tracy and Wendy, and we're going to talk a little bit about how it's evolved. Uh, Y'all hit the ground running on villas at, at Rollover Bay, 90 days, turned it around, took a break a little bit, got those built up. Now you've started Villas at Bolivar, and it's it's really a unique house what y'all are building. Um, let's talk a little bit about the two and the three bedroom homes there. Uh, well, we're very excited about the product. Um, we are currently selling uh, phase one and phase two of four phases total at Villas of Bolivar, which is across from the nine hole golf course on 87 and just up the street from Margaritaville. Uh, we have two bedroom, two bath. Well, actually, we have three floor plans. We have a one bedroom, one and a half bath, two bedroom, two bath, and a three bedroom, three bath. And on the three bedroom, three bath, if you uh, close in the loft or take in the loft too, that's almost a 1,500 square foot house, isn't it? It is. It's over 1,500. It's about 1,505, but is it's, it? it's, it's a beast. It's very sizable. And the let's talk about the amenities because, uh, you know, especially if people are getting in the vacation rental side of it. Y'all have some great amenities at both locations. Let's talk about the amenities, what you're going to offer the homeowners. Uh, the amenities at Villas of Oliver will consist of an observation deck, pool, uh, children's playground, pickleball, sand volleyball, and some lounge areas with fire pits and so forth. Is that sort of the same thing you have over at Villas at Bolivar or Rollover Bay, or is that a little different? Villas of Rollover Bay is a little bit quieter. We do have a pool, observation deck, a pond, and uh, some fire pits, but that's a little bit more of a mellow. It's very quiet in Gilcrest, so two different scenarios. And oh, a playground over there. Playground at, playground at yeah. both locations? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, what about move-ins? Uh, the houses are going crazy at villas that roll over at uh, Bolivar. Mm -hmm. um, phase one, part of phase two, I guess. I was out there uh, this morning shooting some video clips that y'all are seeing. And man, it's going crazy out there, the building. When do you think people will start being able to move in? Well, we're waiting for utilities currently. The houses in phase one will be completed probably by the first to second week in February. Mm -hmm. uh, provided the utilities are hooked up, then we can throw in the streets in a matter of a couple of days and start you know, working on the amenities and moving through. Moving through. If people want to get hold of you, you've got a fantastic website with a lot of information on it. How can they get hold of you uh, for more information? Because let's talk price real quick because you can't find, or I haven't seen any. Wendy, you're the realtor down here. Are there any other houses close to this price point or price per square foot on the on these houses that you know of? Um, there's a few, but okay. it's very minimal and that you still have to uh, build as well. And um, so But they don't have the amenities that these... No, they do not have the amenities that these neighborhoods offer and that's what a lot of people love about these neighborhoods. It's sort of like a master plan community in Houston or Dallas or yes. Beaumont because once you go in there you really don't have to leave unless you want to go to the beach and a lot of people come down here and they like the beach but they love that pool. You oh, know, agreed. yes, agreed. It's and a lot of people want to be by each other but have separate Homes. houses and so it makes it more convenient when people come to rent or stay you know with different groups and family you know groups it just varies the people that are purchasing these are they break getting into like short-term rentals or are they ready established or are they single you know families maybe buying their first beach house or is it a mixture of everything it's a mixture it's definitely a Is mixture. It? We have some people that are going to live here full time. And then we have others that are investors that are, you know, strictly going to rent it out. And then others that want to have a beach home with for their family yeah. to enjoy. I know the view over at the villas at Bolivar is phenomenal when it comes to sunsets. Mm -hmm. uh, and even the sunrise over through Camp Margaritaville and the golf course. 
Um, cause there's not a lot around there. Um, if you're looking for a beach house, especially maybe a starter beach house, you have a smaller family and you just want something down here because it sure is nice, especially in the summertime, when you roll up to your house, you get out, a lot of people keep clothes down here. So really there's not a lot they have to bring and shuffle back and forth. Uh, the house is waiting. So whether you get here at four in the afternoon or 10 o'clock at night, you have a home to go to that you can call your own. So if people want to get hold of you to talk to you about some of these homes, what's the best way to get hold of you? Villas at Bolivar.com will give you all of the contact information, show you all of the floor plans, pretty well give you an overview of the entire uh, community to include the amenities. Um, we have specs, we have everything on the website. And <clears throat> you said with the uh, utilities going in, some people, maybe the first of February, mm -hmm. middle of the end of February, there's still time then, if someone wanted a home for the summer, they could co still come in. There's still time to come in, talk to y'all, get it set, and actually maybe have a home in June or July? Oh, absolutely. If we started to build now, we would have it done by summer. Um, we do have a few standing inventory there. Our models are almost completed. They will be furnished and will be set up to be able to give tours. Uh, down at Rollover, we do have some existing inventory there too, uh, some resales and a few product uh, houses that, we're, uh, that we still have. Um, two different dynamics to the two communities. In Crystal Beach, it's very active. You have the restaurants, you have a lot of activity. Down in Gilcrest at Villas at Rollover, it's much quieter. Uh, so two different dynamics. Where's your house at, Villas at Rollover Bay? Rollover, I like <laughs> Rollover. Yeah, it's, it's quiet. You um, take that walk every morning too, down to the beach, don't that's you? That's it, every morning. The beach is about 300 yards away. Can't beat it. Great, great. Well, for more information, please visit their website. This is a great way to get in. Maybe your first beach home on Bolivar Peninsula. Maybe get into some uh, short-term rental aspect of it, looking so that you can get a return on your investment. But give these ladies a call. You can find them at villas at bolivar.com um, for more information and get your beach house. for tw What a way to start off 2024 than we've got a beach house being built. Very excited. And our phones are ringing now. Everybody's ready for short-term rental season. They're yep. ready to get in. Great, great. We're going to head on out. Remember, you can see Bolivar Live on our social media channels, but also on Roku and Amazon Fire. It's a free download. Just look up Bolivar Live TV. Until next time, I'm David with Bolivar Live. Y'all have a great day, great week. Come see us. God bless and bye-bye.